Hi, I'm Tomoji Hughes, Communications Officer for the Deputy Governor's Office with five fast facts on the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Fact number one. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions was created under Section 59 of the 2007 Virgin Islands Constitution Order on June 1, 2007 and is solely responsible for the instituting, taking over, and discontinuing of criminal proceedings. Under the Virgin Islands Constitution Order, the Director of Public Prosecutions is not subject to any direction or control of its power as granted by the Constitution. The current acting director is Mrs. Tiffany Scatliff Esprit. Fact number two. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions receives files or matters investigated by the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force, Her Majesty's Customs, Department of Immigration, or any other law enforcement agency. Once an investigation is completed, the file is submitted to the ODPP who will only institute criminal proceedings if the evidential burden has been met and it is in the public interest to proceed. Fact number three. The criminal law year commenced on January 13th and with it the criminal assizes which lasts during the law year with breaks during Easter and August. The year is split into three terms, Hillary term, Trinity term, and Michaelamis term. Fact number four. Justice Trevor Ward QC is a new criminal court judge. He is a graduate of the University of the West Indies and the Hugh Wooding Law School in Trinidad. He is the holder of a BA, LLB, and legal education certificate. He began his legal career as a prosecutor in 1998 in the Office of Public Prosecutions in Trinidad and Tobago. He was appointed Senior State Counsel in 2003 until 2005 when he joined the Attorney General's Chambers in Cayman Islands. In 2011, he was appointed Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions. He was appointed Queen's Counsel in 2013 and in 2016, he was appointed a Judge of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court and assigned to the St. Kitts Circuit. Fact number five. It is inappropriate for counsel to liaise or speak with jurors in the array during the assizes. This is done to ensure the jury remains unbiased and to ensure that proceedings are done fairly. Well, there you have it. Five fast facts on the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. I'm Communications Officer for the Deputy Governor's Office, Tomoji Hughes. Thanks for watching.